Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel for another 112 skill figure unboxing and review video and today we are going to look at this SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Black Sun and this one is from the latest remake Kamen Rider Black and the, the first one, the original one was in 1987 if I'm not mistaken and today we have the remake version of this Kamen Rider a little bit different kind of storyline they have included a little bit more political issues a little bit more racism between the kaijin and the humans and of course the kingston were the main element in that story and i think back with this figure i got this figure from amima.com i will share a link down below in my video description so you can click the link and look for yourself if this figure is still available or not without further ado let's take a look at the box art design and then we go further to the unboxing process shall we for the box art design we can see this is a very standard kind of sh figure arts box with a black and blue hue on the background we have this uh Kamen Rider black image at the front with a different kind of surface to it it bumps light and then we have the Kamen Rider black sun logo and at the bottom here we have those uh, lettering for the Kamen Rider Black Sun and at the side we have those uh, promotional image for the Kamen Rider Black Sun with the SH Regards and the Black Sun logo and then at the side also we have another promotional image just with a neutral position there as you can see very nice I love it at the backs of the box we can see the figure inside with uh, you know circular type of window clear window and you know represent those black sun itself we have those uh, promotional image warning legalese at the bottom here so yeah at the bottom of the box we have those uh, unreadable legalese barcodes and numbers and etc etc and at the top we have those Kamen Rider black sun and SH figure arts logo and I think that's all about the box art let's jump into the unboxing process shall we okay so this is the figure and then we have the background over there and then we have the manuals i think this is important for any collectors we need to you know actually look into this manual first before we start uh, you know playing with the figure itself and then uh, the figure looks very nice my first impression uh yeah looks nice it doesn't have any missing or broken parts everything is well intact and i'm happy for that so uh, let's take a look let's take this uh, figure outside and look a bit closer on the overall uh, figure so let's go so guys this is the overall figure out of the box and as you can see it's really nice really great just to note to you guys that this is the final form of this Kamen Rider and he has another form which is uh, introduced in early of the series that looks a little bit more grasshopper a little bit more organic but this one they put it a little bit more punchier uh, element to it a little bit modern so I think I like this version better but I would like to see the earlier version in the next release so I think uh, Bandai has captured all the details and they try to make as accurate as it can be so really well done Bandai up close and personal with this figure and as you can see Bandai has a very tough job on making this figure you can see that there's a lot of details and texturing throughout this body and none of it is left you know plain and every every part of it has those details such as this one and although the, the color is more to a matte black kind of color but they also have some highlights through this uh, figure as you can see that at the neck here we have those kind of shiny material kind of black and then it repeats again at the back here and as you can see that yeah this show that it is actually a layer of layer of armor organic armor that he wears so that is really nice as you can see that 
a really nice detail to it and although it's a black color it also have some highlights especially on the head sculpt over here we can see those red line over here sometimes you look it as a red and if you turn the angle and move it around you can see those orange and yellow color as well i don't know how they did it but they managed to you know get it uh, you know accurate with the uh, series and then we also have on his shoulder pads over here under it and then the arms and you know finally at the ankle over here and the belt represent a little bit more different from the total scheme it looks really nice it does have some different color to it we have some sort of a grayish blue over there and then orange and then we have the red the uh, keystone over there and then with some silver highlight throughout this uh, belt over here really really nice really nice detail i love the texturing and then for the eyes here we have a uh, gray and then texturing inside it so really nice as well we have silver color on the you know antenna and this mouthpiece over here and this figure has a lot of you know pointy and sharp area you can see that it's really really sharp so just be careful on his head over here on his uh, you know shoulder over here and at the foot you can see those uh, long nails over there so just be careful on that at the knee pad you can see those uh, protruding uh, sharp area so really nice and I think there's and if you look closely we have details within the details over here you can see all the stretch mark of the or one uh, leather so really really nice i love the depthness uh, with this figure there's a lot actually and those lines going through this body and at the bicep here you can see all the details again as well and at the abdomen area really really nice i love it and as you can see at the tie over here we have those uh, you know multi layers of texturing i love it and i just love the design for this camarader black sun so yeah so now let's go to the articulation segment shall we for the articulation from the top we have those uh lower and upper ball joint on the neck over here so uh, actually you can utilize it to you know move the head front and back and side to side but mainly because of this head at the back here has those uh, design coming down to this area so he cannot actually you know look up that much so you have to use uh, utilize this lower neck area to you know to get a good range of you know looking up like that and then side to side tilt and then looking left and right so you have a really you know depend on this lower neck to move the head around otherwise it will be hindered by this area over here so yeah and for the body area over here we have the torso joint we can actually uh, move that much leaning back that much and then side to side tilt that much and if you want to go more extra range we have this always uh, join over here so you can actually go leaning a little bit more like that so that is pretty nice and then at the hands over here at the arm we have uh, those articulation on the shoulder we have slightly a butterfly join this is a separate piece so you can actually Put the hands up till that extent and rotation bicep swivel have bicep swivel and then we have double joint elbow over there so we have those past 90 and then swivel at the wrist hinge up and down so really nice then at the lower part over here we have the drop down joint method so you can kick far that that much forward side because this is a thing here is hindering those articulation although it's a soft not that soft but we can actually go extra mile like that but still 
hindering those uh, articulation over there and then it does have some swivel at the tie here kicking back that much double joint the knee and then we have those articulation on the lower part of his uh, foot over here hinge up and down this one as well pivot on the foot over there so that is really nice a really nice range over there As you can see that really sturdy joint the joint seems to be you know well intact I love it and yeah I think that's all about the articulation okay guys so let's take a look at his accessories and we have a multiple of interchangeable hands over here I will show you one by one and this one is the open palm hands really nice and then we have these uh, relaxed hands over here and then we have a closed fist hands with a slightly having a gap over there as you can see that so this is meant for holding the uh, weapon over here and then we have these closed fist hands over here so really nice and then we have this weapon over here all right so this is the sword really nice design it's a little bit shiny i love it and actually this uh hilt over here can be uh, replaced to this one so it's easier for the uh, interchangeable hands to you know um if you look at this one it's pretty hard for for the hands to you know grab it because there's a spike over here so thing is it is meant to be you know change as you can see that there's a hole over there and a pack so you can actually uh, take this out and then slide it in just like that all right and then you can actually hold this uh, weapon over here the sword yep just like that or actually like this yeah like this so really really nice this one I don't know what to call it but it's actually connected meant for the back of the uh, figure like this one this is for the left side for the right side I'm sorry you can actually pack that in and then for the right side and uh, for the left side sorry you can just pull that in as well so it will look complete it will look as one unit all right so let's take it out let's take it back And then this is a chest plate which you can actually uh, remove this this is not connected as you can see that it's a loose piece actually there's no connection over there it just sits on the you know uh, area over here so you can just you know, pull that out like that so you have holes over there that you can actually replace it as you can see that it has a peg over there and then you can just slide that in like that so you can do both or you can just remain it like this it's up to you actually all right now let's move to the next segment shall we for the scale comparison i'm going to compare him with my other sh figure arts kamen rider and then we are going to look at my other 112 collection uh, comparing with him and first of all i want to show you is my skc camera the black and shadow moon both of these figures are in the same era which is in the 1987 and as you can see the camera the black took a little bit different in this uh, era the 2022 version and definitely it has some elements from the 1987 but i'm okay with both of this figure and yeah looking forward for the new shadow moon as well and and then we have this sh figures coming right a joker with uh shf mark 85 iron man from the mcu and as you can see he's a little bit taller and bigger i don't know if this is a correct uh scale but definitely you can make it work and last but not least is this shf captain america from the avengers assemble and then we have the comic book version of superman rebirth and as you can see mayfax towers it up with this uh scale and i don't know if it is workable but definitely i wouldn't mix this two up 
So uh, before I end my review, I just want to conclude something and it is definitely in a positive note and I think Bandai has done a really good job there because I was in a high expectation when uh, Bandai you know announced it before the series even begin and after I saw the series it was great it was a really really nice uh, series I love it I love the tick I love the storyline so Bandai really did a good job here because the detailing on this figure is superb there is so much going on in this figure but I think Bandai uh, really you know make it accurate as it can be and really applause them for that and for the articulation I think maybe there's some uh, parts that is being hindered but I think that is a really minor gripes of mine and for the accessories I think it is enough it is the for the price point I think it is enough it's affordable so yeah I think this figure is great I don't know if they're going to do some you know SKC version of it but I'm looking forward to it as well and also I'm looking forward for the other character as well Shadow Moon and maybe you know the human form of Kotaro Minami and Nobuhiko so yeah let's wait on that one so guys that is the end of my review share your thoughts on the comment section below and what do you think about this figure itself and even the series do you like it or this is a pass for you where does it fit in your collection so if you like this video smash the like button and if you want to support me do subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click the bell notification button so you will not miss any of my video when it comes live so thank you again for watching until we meet again in my next video sayonara